Hey, it's Eric. I'm just going to talk about uh, a way of playing mainly pentatonics, um, using a little bit of a conal picking, and um, which a lot of people are probably familiar with already anyway, but also using a little thing called, like, uh, I call leapfrog fingering. It's using your second finger a lot to sort of leapfrog over your third finger. It helps you to kind of, especially ascend on pentatonic scales. So you notice a lot of people seem to find it easier to just descend than ascend. So this is using a little bit of a cono picking. I'll just go through it once with the picking so you know. It starts with an upstroke. Then it's down, down. Up. Then down, down. Up. Then down, up. Then down, up. Then down, down. Then up. Then down, up. Then down, down. Then up. Then down, up. Then down, up. Then down, down. And up. And then, yeah, so that was down, down. And then on the 10 and 12th on the E string, that's a um, down and up. And then down, down. The last three notes would go down, down, up. There's a lot of sweepable things in there. Uh, you are sweeping, so. So it's not exactly every time you transfer a string, it's down, down. It's if you've ended with an upstroke, it's fine. Just continue doing your alt picking, you know, up, down. If you know anybody uh, has watched Troy Grady's videos, you know if you end a, if you're doing a downward slant, that means your back of your pick is pointing towards the floor. Then if you end with an upstroke, then you're above the plane of the strings. You're cool. You don't have to worry about it. And if you end with a downstroke. Then you're stuck in between the strings and you need to do a sweep pick to get out of that or something else. All right, so if you use that you and follow that, um, you should be able to get through that okay. Otherwise, I'll, I'll probably post the up down. I realized that I didn't post anything with up downs in the picking, but hopefully uh, it came across. So have fun with it. Take care.